In today's video, I'm gonna answer the question, should I buy the new iPhone 12? Hey there, welcome back to Money With Min. And on this channel, I share weekly videos on how to get wiser with your money. So if that sounds good to you, please consider subscribing. So September 2020 is about to end. And for the first time since 2011, Apple has not yet released their new flagship iPhone. Now let's think about that for a second. Every September since 2012, Apple has released a brand new flagship iPhone every single year on the dot. But since this year they're pushing it back a little bit, it gives me a little bit of time to pause and think about whether or not I should buy the new iPhone 12. I mean, literally in my hand right now is the 11 Pro. Do I need the iPhone 12? The answer is pretty simple, but psychologically hard. The right answer is no. I do not need the iPhone 12. However, do I want the iPhone 12? Probably based on the new cameras alone, but let's think about that for a second. So when you think about the phone that you're using right now, even the phone you're watching this video on, it's probably just fine like 99% fine for everything you needed to do. So every year when a new piece of technology comes out, in this case, it's a phone, you don't necessarily need it, but your brain for some reason thinks you want it. And whether it's because of the new camera, the new processor, the new screen, or whatever new feature is in that new phone, it creates a sense of desire that this device will make your life more satisfactory, more productive, and probably even more happy. And that, my friends, is partially due to the concept called the hedonic treadmill. And I've covered this concept before in my video about delayed gratification, which I'll link right here. But effectively, anything that you do in life that creates this momentary sense of happiness, you'll converge back to where you were pretty quickly after the fact. So what that means is whether you buy a new iPhone or not, you'll be at the same level of happiness that you are right now. So let's say the iPhone 12 pre-orders open up. Will I probably be looking at the page? Yeah, I'm gonna be looking at it. But will I try to resist buying it? 100%. Because when I try to rationally think through all the tech specs and all the new features of the phone, it's not much better than this. I mean, it's definitely better, but not that much better. I woke up today with my iPhone 11, I'm just fine. I'll wake up tomorrow with my iPhone 11, I'll be just fine. So I'm gonna set up a challenge for myself and possibly for some of you. I'm gonna skip this year's iPhone. And as someone who's a technologist who loves the latest gadgets and toys, but also very price conscious and frugal, this is a pretty tough decision for me, but I hope I can make the right one. So you might be asking, well, what's in it for me? What's the point of this? So of course on this channel, I love talking about delayed gratification and the opportunity cost of spending money now. Now let's take a look at a what if. What if you had skipped certain iPhones in history and instead invested that money in Apple stock? How much would that money be worth today? So Apple stock has been on a complete tear in the last 12 years or so, ever since the iPhone was released. And Apple stock most recently reached its highest ever in the last month, as well as just went through a four to one stock split. So the TL didn't watch of this whole video is that investing in Apple stock is nearly a surefire way to grow your wealth over the long term. So over here, I'm gonna put up a list of various iPhone models in history, what year they're released, how much they cost at the time, but the equivalent value of Apple stock in today's price. So pause this video and take a look at this list. Let me know in the comments if you've owned an iPhone and which one of these was your first and comment how much value your Apple stock would be worth if you had invested that money instead of buying the iPhone. Take for example, the iPhone 3G, which came out in 2008 at a retail price of $4.99. And at that time in 2008, the approximate Apple stock price was $6 per share. Like that's, that's insane. And this is accounting for all the splits and things that have happened over the year. But you could have bought 83 shares in 2008 instead of buying your iPhone 3G. And the value of that stock today would be over $9,000, which is like 18 times the value of that phone. And what's that phone's value today? Nothing, right? Absolutely nothing. It's in the trash, it's in recycling somewhere. It's, it's depreciating assets that are totally gone. And also take note of how expensive these phones have gotten over the years. And they're well over $1,000 now. And I predict the iPhone 12 it's probably gonna be like $1,500 for the flagship model. Like that's a crazy amount of money to be spending on a phone every single year. And while it might not be realistic to skip every single iPhone generation and invest all that money in Apple stock, it might be realistic to skip every other year or every three years. Like I mentioned earlier, technology actually does not age that fast. And an iPhone 8, iPhone 7, and this generation is still just fine for your needs. And even when you fast forward to 2019, when I bought this iPhone 11 Pro, and it wasn't the max model that I have, but I spent maybe 1,000 on it at retail, 
If I had invested that money in Apple stock instead, it would have doubled in value within a year. And in my last video, when I talked about instead of buying my Tesla, to take that money and invest in Tesla stock instead, that was a bit unrealistic because that was like almost $60,000. So I would not have done that. But this, this is a little bit different. This is way more realistic. Would I take the $1,500 I would have spent on my iPhone 12 and put that in Apple stock in a heartbeat? So I think I'm gonna do that. And I challenge you to do the same. Hashtag don't buy iPhone, buy Apple stock instead. Let's get this, <laughs> let's get this trending on Twitter. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have an iPhone, give it a thumbs up. If you're thinking about buying an iPhone 12, give this video a like. And if you wanna get started today with this challenge and invest in Apple stock, please consider using my referral links down below where you get two free stocks with Webull and one free stock with Robinhood. Both platforms are pretty easy to use, but let me know if you have questions in the comments. And for weekly videos on how to get wiser with your money, definitely consider subscribing. And hit that notification bell for reminders when my videos go live. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.